Alright, this is Tong. This is Matt. This is me. If anyone finds this, well, tell my mother I said hello. Alright, this is the uh, parking meter example. Uh, this right now is the user interface. Up here is the distance sensor. This is only used for debugging to show how everything is working. Uh, right here will show how much time is left. This will give instructions for the user. On the left is at the beginning the uh, pin uh, display. So whenever a user user drives up, uh, this will be ex shown by the the tape. The tape will park in, and as we can see, we can then go into the distance sensor, which is then picking up a distance. Uh, the meter realizes that between 30 and 50 centimeters, for this example, a car will be there. On the website, we can actually show you if a car is there or not. Uh, after a car shows up, they'll take their RFID, right now it's an RFID disc, they'll come down and tag it. Uh, whenever they tag, uh, they'll, be, they'll be told to push in their pin and push enter. So the pin is one, two, three, four. As you see up there, the pin, it's all in stars. If they push enter and correct, they'll b then be able to add in their own time. So we'll start with 10 minutes. Time added is 10 minutes. You can then push start and time left. They'll then start counting down in minutes. Uh, also with this, at for this example, at 9 minutes, they'll send a text saying they have 5 minutes left. In real life, it would be at 5 minutes left. Um, and we will get to that when that time happens. <laughs> so you're going to see, so when it goes to, when that changes to 9 minutes, going to send out a text message to me. Uh, Patient's killing me. Alright, we're at nine minutes. Set, it, set, it should be sending the text to see how responsive it is. And there's the text message. And it says updating message. That's what it says. But if you could read it, it says you have less than five minutes remaining. If you want to go over to the uh, meter page on there. Then we've got, we have the database interface page here where you can see the availability of a meter. So if we come in here right now, you see nothing. Um, if we go over there, you can see if we take away a car, after a couple seconds, the averager is going to update and send a message to the server and say parking meter number 123 is available. So then we can also come back and view view the accounts by typing in it, typing in your RFID number and your PIN. So then you could see the number of minutes that you've used on your account. And then if you want to add more after your time, you just go up with your RFID, tap it. It will then again ask for your PIN. Just push your PIN in again. Hit enter which will be correct, and you can add however much more time you want. So for discrepancy, we'll add 300 more minutes. And you can see it updates it automatically, 308 minutes left. And then if we go over to the user account, you will then see 300 minutes added to what we previously had. So now we have 1,015. Okay.